good morning love bugs so it is afternoon and i'm currently sitting on the trampoline with the kiddos if you did not see my last vlog check it out because we bought them a new trampoline and new swing set so i'm laying on trampoline my niece is all in my face that her face so we are going to the mall today because my sister need to get some stuff like i told y'all my last vlog her and my mother's birthday is it's sunday and i think she needed some shoes i just want to get on and say hey to you guys to start the vlog off and i will catch you guys in a little bit <laughs> All right, love bugs, so don't mind my hair because it's not done. I'm doing these little curls in it, and I still have all this to go, but I'm actually about to head to my sister's nail salon so she can do my toes. I was gonna get my nails done, but with my new job, congratulations to me with my new job, I'm gonna be on the computer a lot more now, which would include me typing more. So, it just doesn't make sense for me to get my nails done because I type slow with long nails and I'm not really a fan of short nails. So I think I'm just going to, you know, not even worry about getting my nails done. Um, but when I get over there, I'm actually going to finish my hair. So I'm getting a t-shirt to go ahead and put over my dress because I'm wearing a dress that I do not want to mess up. And I have been in my age since I started this vlog, but you guys would have not known that. But I started this vlog on... Friday and I have not picked up since and that's because I was supposed to edit my other video on Sunday and have it go up on Monday the Monday that just passed but I was not feeling it and then so I was like okay I'm going to edit it this week but then Sunday night I was in so much pain my legs was hurting really really bad so then Monday I came down with stomach virus and then I had it all the way up until yesterday, which is Wednesday. And I'm still kind of dealing with it. Now it's not like the diarrhea part of the stomach virus, but it's more of the nauseous part of the stomach virus. So that is currently what I'm dealing with. But I'm feeling so much better. Like yesterday, I just had to like force myself to like get up, to shower, to clean up. Because like when I tell you, I was feeling so bad, the dishes started to pile up, the trash was overflowing. So you know. When people don't have their designated person who like actually cleans and makes sure everything is clean and done, you know, things just start overflowing and overpiling. So yeah, yesterday I just had to force myself to get up, to shower, to do the dishes, to make sure that the trash was sticking out and all of that. We have family pictures on Sunday. I have nothing to wear. The color we are wearing is yellow and I have something yellow, but I don't think it's really family picture appropriate. So I need to find something to wear. All right, so I just got home. I'm not sure if I told you what we was heading to the mall for, but we originally went to find stuff for Picture Sunday. So, did that. I also stopped by Walmart, got me some sunflowers and some clips. All right, so I got these clips, which these are not the hair clips um, that's like on the hair side. These are actually clips from the craft section. So I got those hair clips and I got these sunflowers because I plan on taking these sunflowers and like sticking them in my head for picture day. So... You know, we're going to have little hair clips all over. I'm debating if I want to wash my hair and wear my afro with this. Or if I want to refresh my wash and go and just have the hair clips in there. So I'm still debating. And this is how they would kind of look. You can't really see it. I have two more, but I freaking love it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I maybe should have got smaller ones. All 
All right, y'all. So I think I told y'all earlier we were going to take pictures in this vlog. I think I told y'all that. I'm not sure, but today is Sunday, Mother's Day, and we are going to take pictures. I look so cute. I have the flowers in my head. I'm wearing this. I cannot wait to show y'all guys a full body picture. I don't really like my pants because I ain't got no butt, but I look really, really cute. The kids look cute. Everybody looks so cute. I'm so excited for these pictures. I'm hot. So hot. I'm freaking sweating. So, yeah. Hey, then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bye, Joe. We have All right, y'all. So we finished taking our pictures today. I was so excited about it. I loved it. I got so many compliments on my flower hair headpiece, whatever you want to call it. I looked good. I felt good. And I'm going to show you guys some of our pictures. I did get a few clips from when we was taking our pictures or like before we started taking our pictures. So yeah, actually I already took all this off but I just put it on so I can kind of show you guys and talk to you guys a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm in a very good mood. I'm in a very thankful mood. I'm trying not to cry, but it's not like a bad cry. <laughs> it's not a bad cry, it's a good cry. It's just, I'm so, thankful i'm grateful i'm just so over the moon and nothing has really happened to make me feel this way but then again a lot has happened i see posts where people talk about always thinking about the next stage of your life without even realizing you are in the stage that you once prayed for and lately i've been just seeing like so many posts like that that like i've really just been taking it all in i've really just been trying to be more grateful and just like being so happy that I'm in the stage of my life that I'm in now and I'm just so thankful and grateful that I'm not the person that I used to be and that I have grown so much and I will continue to grow and I'm literally watching my life unfold in front of my eyes and it's so crazy like it's so crazy so many other things that I put on my manifestation board has just been unfolding in front of my eyes and I love it so much that like it's making me start to feel like a new me to just watch almost everything unfold in my life and be in a good and positive way I'm just like so thankful for it I'm so grateful for it I'm so happy that it's working out in my favor especially since like this time last year I wasn't watching my life unfold. This time last year and the year before, I felt like things were stagnant and not moving enough for me, especially with us being in a pandemic. It felt like every day was literally the same. And now, like, it, it's not, like, it's so different than how it was. I just felt, I don't know, I just felt so obligated to, like, share that. Not really obligated, that's not the right word, but I don't know, I just felt the need, the desire to share that with you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now because it is late. <laughs> and your girl needs to shower and go to sleep, so. So, we are currently at Publix. We just left Walmart. I got a whole lot of stuff from Walmart. We just left Walmart and she went to go get her some fruit from Publix. So, she's inside of Publix now. And then we're heading home. And we went to Rose too and I got some stuff from Rose. So, I'm going to show you guys that as well. Alright, so I'm home. I ended up getting this oat milk. Uh, Walmart only had this kind. And I texted it. And I'm not going to say it's disgusting, but I don't really like the flavor of it. The other oat milk I get, I'm not even sure the brand of it. It's like a tan and red um, carton. I put a picture on the screen. That one has a more subtle taste. And this one, like, I don't know. You can, like, actually taste it. So, I'm not too much sure about that. But, yeah. I got me some more crispy chicken sliders. 
I got me this vegan Hellman's dressing and spread. I'm excited to try this because I was just eating regular mayo, but I'm trying to become more of, you know, a vegan than vegetarian. And even if I don't become a full on vegan, I still want most of my diet to have like vegan stuff. So I got this to try. I got me some cherries because I was craving cherries. So I'm so excited for those. I hope they're extremely sweet. My regular nuggets because I've come to the conclusion these are the only nuggets that I really like. Every other nugget that I've tried, I just have not liked. I got me some Honey Nut Cheerios, some Frosted Flakes. These are vegan, however, these aren't because they're made with honey. But even if it's made with honey, I'm still going to enjoy it because I still want to eat honey because honey is good for you. So, it's veggie smart dogs. They taste like bologna to me. As someone who used to eat meat, that tastes like bologna. <laughs> so, if you've ever had bologna, that is what this tastes like. But it's still okay to me. Um, I got me these plant-based seven grain chicken tenders. I'm going to give these a try for you guys. And also these fish fillets. I'm going to give both of these a try because I've never had them. So I'm kind of hoping that they are good. And I got me two things of yogurt. This, the silk. This one is peach and then this one is strawberry. And lastly, I went ahead and got these oven roasted style turkey plant-based deli slices. I'm excited to try this on the sandwich with some of this mayo. And then I have some Daya um, vegan cheese. So I'm excited. So let me go ahead and warm these up and then I will be back. All right, so this is the chicken tender. This is the fish filet. And then this is the sandwich. So right off the bat, the mayo that I got is not bad. And it's sweet. It's just smoother and creamier, if that makes sense. And then the meat, the meat is thick. <laughs> but it also rips easier than regular turkey meat. I don't like the smell of it. And I really don't like the taste of it. But as a sandwich, it's not really bad. Now this is the chicken tender. It's good. It tastes like the um the mini chicken sliders meat. That's what it tastes like. I'm pleased with that. Eat it with some ketchup, some barbecue sauce, however. It's good. And then lastly is the fish filet. Now I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this fish filet just because I did not like the mini crab cakes that I got last time by gardening. But we are going to give this fish fillet a try. It is so crispy. It smells pretty good. However, the texture looks just like the um, crab cakes texture. That's not bad. I really like, really like the outside, the crispiness of the outside and how it flakes. Not a big fan of like the inside texture of it, but it's not bad. And the, um, there's like a faint fish taste. So lastly, we're going to just give this strawberry yogurt a taste just because, ooh, just because I feel like I have not had yogurt in a while, like regular yogurt. To me, this is like soupy. Mm. It tastes like your plate. I just wish it was a little bit more thicker than like how thin it is. So other than that, it tastes like your plate.